Welcome to another UCCS machine shop video. In this video we will go over the steps in making a brass hammer. Get some 5 8 inch hex stock and a hex collet to hold in the lathe. This part will be used for the hammer's handle. Face the end of the handle. Start a hole on the end for a live center using the tail stock. Make sure the part is in all the way so that the part does not bend while drilling. Extend the part out and use a live center to keep the part from bending while it is being cut. Before you start turning your part down, grind down your cutting tool so that the back side of your tool will not hit the live center. Turn the diameter down to 312 thousandths of an inch for the top portion of the hammer. Note, for your first cut, make sure you are cutting deep enough so that you do not beat your tool. Use machinist die and mark the part for the thread relief. Cut a thread relief. Cut the taper in the middle of the part. Be careful not to cut too deep. Insert the part into a 5 16 inch collet from the back side. Cut a chamfer for the threading tool. Use a 5 16 by 24 die to cut the threads. Make sure to use the tailstock to hold the die true to the part. Remember, one turn forward, half turn back. Face the back end of your hammer and cut down to length. Chain for the bottom of your handle. Get some 3 quarter inch brass stock for the hammer's head. Face the end. Mark and chain for one end. Install a round radius cutting tool. Cut a recess to the depth specified in the parts diagram. Flip the brass part around. If it does not fit, make a brass hammer and tap it in. Face the end of the part and cut to size. Cut the second recess. Install an outside radius cutting tool. Turn the rounded end of part. To polish the brass, use a Scotch-Brite pad. Install the hammerhead into a square collet block. Register the part in the mill using the edge finder. Zero the Z indicator using some shim stock, and bore a hole using an end mill for a flat surface for the handle's shoulder to sit. Start a hole for the threads using the center drill. Install a drill bit and zero using shim stock.
drill and tap your hole. Remember, one turn forward, half turn back. Insert your handle into the head. Make sure it goes all the way in. If it does not go all the way in, continue drilling and tapping your part. Install a vice stop to keep a reference on your part's position. Turn your collet block 90 degrees so the handle is pointing toward you. Bore a hole for the cap screw's head using an end mill. Start a hole using a center drill. Install a drill bit in zero using a shim stock. Drill and tap the hole for the cap screw. Insert a cap screw and tighten it down. If all the steps were followed correctly, your hammer should look like this. Thank you for watching.